It's so pretty outside. Oh my gosh, there's a spider stuck to my arm. Go over here, bud. So I hear a lot of people say that you need to have a fancy camera to take good photos. Um, and then even once people get the camera, complain that their photos don't look good in that sense. So I'm here to, I brought out a pony, show you all how you can take photos with an iPhone and have them look really good and really professional. And you really don't need too much. They, all these tips, by the way, apply for cameras as well. I'm just doing them with an iPhone to show you just how easy this is. I got some ponies here saying hi. You gotta leave me alone. I gotta go take photos. Stop. Stop. <laughs> so fancy. So fancy. Let's see just how pretty it is out here. Now that the ponies are far away and walking on their own, I'm gonna show you where I can take photos. First thing is I think just environment. I try and look for grass. You can see if I put my model here. Looks like normal horse grass, but for like a real live horse, but you can go with taller grass. Just don't let it get tall enough to touch your horse's belly because that does not look good. Um, it kind of looks like he's being eaten. So like this, perfectly fine, works fine. This? No, no. No, 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 he, he getting buried. If you don't have any grass around you, perfectly fine. Um, all of these tips work if you wanna put your horse on concrete, if you wanna put him in the shade, if you wanna put him on just dirt, that works too. I'm gonna to show you guys on the short grass though, because this is usually where I take photos and it's pretty flat. You can use rock your terrain, it can look really cool, but it's kind of like a hit or miss. Usually flat terrain with little to nothing in the background is perfect. So I have jumps over here. I'm gonna aim not with jumps. So you can kind of see I got the shadow of this tree here. I'm gonna put him right outside this shadow in the sun over here. And kind of choose a spot where there aren't really any big leaves. He's facing that way. Next thing you probably really wanna do is step back like a good bit. I see a lot of people come up to their horse and they just go like this. And because of the camera, it does not look as good as you would want it to. This is for cameras as well, um, not just iPhones. You have your camera step back and then zoom all the way in. It looks a lot better. But this is kind of like your step two. A lot of people as well will come up and even this far away will take their photos like this, or like this, or like this, or like this. And it just doesn't work. Your best thing you wanna be doing is get as level as you possibly can, probably in the grass. As far as you possibly can down to the ground. My phone is currently sitting on the grass and that looks awesome. This is for filmmaking as well. If you are filmmaking, these tips work amazing. Get a tripod, set up your camera on the ground. You don't even need a tripod, you just need something to prop your camera up. And then you can go over there and move the horses and it looks great. And you don't need any fancy expensive camera to do that. So right now you can kind of see how far away I am. What I'm gonna do is now I have that jump out of the background. I'm gonna lower my camera as far as I can, zoom out and ask it to focus on the horse. And take my photo. If I notice it's a little bit grainy, it's totally fine. Step forward just a little bit. Refocus on the horse, gotta find him. Got mosquitoes over. Even adjust my lighting if I want to. And that's where I would take my picture. You can just move around different angles, figure it out. But yeah. I feel like right now some people are asking maybe, hey, I have a tall wooden fence in my yard and some relatively tall grass. I cannot take photos outside and I don't have access to a park either. That's totally fine. Um, I will probably show towards the end of this video, but, um, there are tons of ways you can do photography inside. You don't even need fancy backdrops. It all has to do with lighting and how you angle your camera or your phone. That can make the models just look so super cool and you don't need anything fancy for it. You can go into a garage or a living room or just find a cool texture on a wall. You can do so much cool stuff with it. For right now though, I want to show you guys if maybe in your neighborhood, 
somebody has kind of like a junk pile, for example. We just have this old stump and some stuff that we had a tree fall and my dad just had to dig up a bunch of rocks and stuff. Just put the pony on the rocks. You step back. You get pretty cool shots. Look at that. Look at this boy. Look at him go. Wow. So beautiful. And I can just kind of adjust my brightness here. Look at that. So you can really just put them anywhere just because it's an iPhone doesn't mean that it's not good. One of my last outdoor spots here, other than back of the house, I mean like outdoors and dirt and nature, is spots like this. This is just a spot that was cleared out by a backhoe. It's kind of got some ants. But this kind of spot, you can do some cool photography because it is just so open. Go. Cool photo boy. Cool photo boy. Look at him go. So you can do a bunch of cool stuff. I just got ants on me. Here's another spot that I just set up. Also, I'd suggest coming out when the sun is quite a bit past midday. Um, for me, it's around four o'clock is like the best photo time, four or five o'clock. Um, golden hour gets really pretty up here. But really, don't choose noon. Don't. Uh, any shadows on your model will get cast right back onto their face because the sun is at the highest point, so your shadows will be below you. In the morning, you can try. I find it really hard just because noon comes up so quickly unless you want to wake up at like 5.30. Um, try and get a sunset. I tend to go midday. I realize it's not as hot um, than like noon, but still even then try to avoid noon and then um, cloudy days just suck. Don't do them. So I'm on my driveway right now. I'll show you all what you can do here. So I'm going to these little patches of light. I'm gonna show you some of the cool stuff you can do so i'm gonna position the pony the light will look pretty and he's gonna be on the concrete people are going to say, oh, concrete! Ah! as long as you're careful concrete is perfectly fine and will not hurt your horses you just gotta watch them all right put this all the way down oh there's like a weird thing on here zoom in focus on the subject look at that look at how beautiful that is and that's kind of my last one for outdoor photography. So I'm going to bring it inside. So this is kind of like maybe you have a rainy day or you just don't have a big yard or you just don't have access to a park or something and you live in an apartment. This works perfectly fine. I would really just look around for textures. So for example, I notice this is like really shiny. So that could look really cool. That's the way the outline is. Look at that. You just look for cool spots. I'm in one of our bathrooms. Look at that. I'm going to scoot back here so I've got kind of more of that. But there's kind of another cool one. He's literally just sitting on the rim of a tub. <laughs> but I have it angled. Look at that. And the cat. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool one. This is one of our lights on our stairs. As you can see, I'm back in the room with the pretty ponies. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys had kind of all picked up on stuff. And um, if you have been wanting to do photography for a while and were like, oh, I just don't have a nice fancy camera, go out there, try to do some with your iPhone. It's actually really fun. You can do so many different things and I'll probably be doing a series here uh, on all kinds of photography tips because <laughs> it's just so fun. I've been doing photography for a long time, not specifically model horses, but just general photography. Um, so I have so many tips and tricks that I would love to share with everybody. But I am so excited to see any photos anybody takes. 
um, with their phone and by using this video um, you're more than welcome to tag me on Instagram if you have uh, taken photos after following this video totally do it I'm really excited to see them I hope you all have a wonderful day